A sliding doors moment 20 years ago set photolithography specialist ASML on the path to becoming one of Europe's most successful technology company and a key player in the global semiconductor supply chain. As the resolution limits of photolithography technology, the printing process used to make semiconductors started to come into the view at the turn of the millennium, ASML and Nikon. At the time the two leading companies in the sector began to think about the future. Nikon and ASML pursued different paths for what was to come next, explains Dr. Chris Mack, a photolithography expert and adjunct faculty member at the University of Texas. Nikon pursued a path called electron beam photolithography, while ASML pursued a path called extreme UV photolithography. It turned out ASML picked wisely. After 20 years of extremely expensive development, EUV has eventually come to fruition and those tools work and are widely used, says Dr. Mack. I've never really worked properly and eventually Nikon abandoned it. ASML made a smart investment, spent multiple billions of dollars developing these tools and now it is reaping the rewards. And the rewards have been substantial. With EUV now the predominant technology used for building leading-edge semiconductors. With chip makers keen to take advantage of the high-quality product and increased throughput it offers, EUV machines sell for up to $200 M a piece. Last month ASML reported that orders for the second quarter of 2021 totaled 8.3 billion euros and that its quarterly net profit had grown 38% year-on-year to 1.2 billion euros. The news sent its share price soaring to a record high giving the business a market cap of 240 billion euros. It's all driven by basically what we are seeing today which is the digital revolution. CEO Peter Wenink told investors on the company's earnings call, with the pace of digitization set to increase in the coming years, and few serious competitors. The future of a SML looks bright. The only cloud on the horizon is the geopolitical tension between the West and China, which may limit the company's ability to sell its machines to customers in the Far East.